Do you know what it is? Oh, no. <laughs> Magandang umaga! So I finally arrived in this beautiful Airbnb which I'm gonna show you really soon, later because the curtains are still closed so you can't see and enjoy the view Anyway, I'm gonna see my friends really soon in a few minutes and uh, then we're gonna go to their apartment start the day and we will go to the gym and to the swimming pool area soon that's why i uh, booked my um, accommodation for the next three nights uh, at knightsbridge residence it's called in makati manila definitely recommend it so far and uh, yeah okay she texted me that i'm gonna have to go down and we'll meet them and look i brought them some pasalubum from bali here coffee and this is a really nice one. This is Marta back. I'm really excited for their reaction because they won't expect that I brought it here. What it is? Oh no! <laughs> Did I, guess? I think it's exactly what Fernando Did I guessed. Guess? Fernando yes. was guessing ah, okay. something really? yesterday, <laughs> but I was like, no, it's no way. Like I don't believe. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh! Maybe oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. Uh, that was the first thing I guessed. Mm. The poop. Oh, the so poop here. Yeah. Oh, and and this is also another one. Oh my god, so much coffee! <laughs> <laughs> As I mentioned, we went to the gym together and to the pool area outside, had lunch at Pepper Lunch, which I really like, my one of my favorite places in Manila. And we started our three-hour road trip to Batangas with our rented car. We did a quick pit stop in Tagaytay and we arrived just in time for this stunning view of the Tal Volcano. Everyone is vlogging. We arrived at our accommodation. I'm really curious. Um, yeah, if it's like a super nice resort as on the pictures or uh, yeah, how it looks in person. And look! So we checked in and we actually booked a double room with an extra bed or the family room, which was 100 euros per night, almost 6,000 pesos. Hello guys, welcome to another vlog, to another day. We are currently on our way to Fortune Island. We had some nice breakfast. And yeah, since we rented a car from a really friendly Filipino, we will go to the Fortune Island Resort now. Look, Odessa's filming <laughs> behind the scenes. Um, and then we were gonna take the boat there because we walked around first yesterday and um, yeah, they wanted to sell us the boat tour to Fortune Island which is around one hour uh, for 6,000 pesos but I read online that you can go to Fortune Island Resort where most of the hotels are and then they offer it you, to you for for 4,000 I think 4,000 yes and you have to um, do the entrance fee uh, which is like 350 Hello, para sa vlog Hi po! <laughs> oh, so let's go! I 
Are you going to see now? We will check. We call them, but we are late. We lost ourselves. I'm Thank here, Fortune for. Island. But if we if we leave, if we leave now, we would arrive on the island like at one or even earlier. Twelve thirty, you think? Yes. Okay, and then, then we'll and then down. we have to leave at three, three to four p.m. Three or four p.m. Yes. You think it's worth it? It's better to do today or tomorrow? We have only two hours and a half. Yeah, yeah, if we do tomorrow, we can leave here yeah. by. I think it's better tomorrow if you want to. Enjoy spend the day, right? Day, yeah. It's only two hours. We're not yeah, gonna be able to jump yeah. the cliff or do some snorkeling or something. And then we can also do lunch. There. Yeah, we can do lunch yes. there. I think my friends decided to go tomorrow because then we have more time. I'm not even sure if we're gonna spend there more than two hours, but I think maybe it's more chill than today. So yeah, I think we're going to do it tomorrow then and do beach shopping today. And this is how the resort looks like. Hello, Vanessa. Myself in the camera. <laughs> they have fried calamari. We had yesterday fried calamari, and we are uh, looking for the friend or the contact subscriber from Vanessa and Fernando. Um, they told us to bring us to a private island, so hopefully everything will be safe. Um, yeah, and exploring a bit of the Catalagan uh, public market. I think it's busier in the night time. Wow, look at you. Looks new. Looks super new and clean. Wow. Very clean, huh? And good music. <laughs> So the both are looking for some food. I'm looking for some ice cream. So everyone who knows me knows that I uh, love sweet things. See, look, it's like a typical Filipino ice from my experience. They also have Ube ice cream, this one in Ube, which is really nice. Many more. They have Hopia here. I like your favorite one with the Ube inside. But maybe it depends on where you're getting it. From because the companies have different ones. Oh, let's go. <laughs> the island is called Isla Garcia Asque. So we're going to the private island now in this mini boat. Like 12,800 pesos, but we charge for additional person for 700 pesos. Ah, okay. They can use this That's whole island on their own. Oh my god! And wow. They can use the boat wherever wow. they want to go. Oh my wow. god! Yeah. Wow. Sorry, you cannot see the little baraka. It's high tide. Yeah. So yeah. when it's low tide, you can see a little baraka. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. for a special yeah. occasion, you can book this one, the island, some kubus. Pretty nice. What a luxury. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, I love it. This one. Wow. Oh, Low tide uh, is in the morning. Yeah. So but means you can see the sand bar, which is called um, Little Boracay. So the Little Boracay in Batangas is over here and all the, all the floating boats and all the floating houses. I think we saw them on Airbnb as well. But yeah, I'm excited to fly the drone, guys.
we're going to Burrot Beach looking for a swim. So if it's possible to swim there. Um, oh, look, perfect access to the beach. They are still spinning. They are still spinning. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> subscribe now. <laughs> this is the reality, I guess, for a private island. There are still people having access. Water is so clear. Would have liked to fly my drone here as well, but it was too difficult to bring it. Here, even the access to the beach was a bit difficult, uh, especially without some water shoes. But we are the only guests here. Wow! My turn, guys. <laughs> My turn, guys. Men are still walking here. As you can see, my hair is still dry, so I <laughs> go full body inside. Nice! Wow! wow. wow. Classic one. Yeah, I'm gonna take a souvenir. I'm gonna take a souvenir. Oh, I'm gonna take a souvenir. Yeah. Yeah. Me. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's hot in the morning. Oh my gosh, you are like. As you can see here, there are the boat, the floating boats, where you can book uh, and do a day tour to somewhere and tell them where to stop and have a swim, chill, enjoy the weather, have some barbecue. Really nice. I've never seen this before. Next stop for us was a special place known for their bibinka. It's a family producing it in a traditional way. Shopping. Ah, okay. Shopping. Never seen something like this before. <laughs> I always eat ready made, already made bibinka, but this is really traditional. <laughs> wow! <laughs> there were two types of bibinka. The light one was the cassava one, and the dark one was the sticky rice one, which I never tried before. Mom Esther. This is the lady who owns it. No family is working here. Why she's working to me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, handy right now. We're packing them. It's just 180 for a small package, and the whole one is 600. So it's really affordable, I would say. This is 320, and this is 180. And the bigger one, the, the bigger one is uh, Bilao. What they call it? Bilao. The round one, yeah. Yeah, 620. Okay, 620, yeah. So now you know. You can order here. Hi guys, since I'm editing, I totally forgot to film the outro. So here it is. I hope you liked watching this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Subscribe and yeah hit the like button if you like my video and i hope i'm gonna see you guys in my next one